I'm sweating. What else is on my little to-do list? I asked for a photo at the end, like a fangirl. Happy National Gyoza Day. No, guys, I don't even know where to start. Let me show you something. It just lights me up inside. We are running late. That was nice, thank you. Look who I have found. I think I just need to sit for like 10 minutes and just process what has happened today. Where has today gone? What the hell? Good morning, how are we doing? It is Monday, the time is 9.53 and I feel energized and ready for the week. Let's see how long this lasts. So this morning I have got a morning of dry disco prep. I'm not sure if you've seen before, but we are running sober events for women, alcohol free day festivals and we have our Christmas party coming up in December. I have a debrief call with my co-founder Millie this morning to discuss ticket sales and marketing. Then we have two sponsor calls three calls but two sponsor calls to discuss partnerships gifting and putting product behind the boozeless bar so i'm going to be on calls probably for about two or three hours now but i will check in with you afterwards and let you know how they go and then i'll talk you through the rest of my day cool let's go right girlies i am still in this chair what time is it it's quarter to six 5 41 um and i am gonna stop to have some dinner i'm gonna have an early dinner really really early dinner i'm actually doing a live stream this evening with my very first dance teacher who is a tv presenter very very talented tv presenter and we're doing a live stream at eight some of the enthusiasm has dwindled from this morning i will be honest i woke up this morning like ready and ready raring to go and when i checked in with you guys earlier i feel like the caffeine had probably just kicked in and I can confirm that the caffeine has now kicked out. <laughs> I'm very tired. So I'm just gonna have my early dinner now. There are a few things that I need to approve um, in regard to mailers for Sober October. So throughout the month of October, through our Carew's mailing list, we're sending tips and tricks and motivation to anyone who is embarking on their sobriety journey for the month of October. And basically just trying to give as much value as we can through our mailing list. And I have to approve those mailers and some accompanying blog posts tonight, just so that we have ample time. I say ample time, October is in five days, six days. How many days are there in September? 30? 30, yeah, there's only five days left. Ha 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 we're not that ahead of the game. Chloe, who does our mailing lists and our blog posts is actually on annual leave from Wednesday. So I only really have tomorrow to send over those approvals and amends. Breathe. Anyway, I'm starving, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, talk to me, what's that? Okay, chickpeas are in the oven and I'm gonna make a chimichurri dressing using flat leaf parsley and coriander. Let's go. salad so we've got iceberg and kale as the base then we've got black rice chickpeas I also put some uh, ground up broccoli in there so there's some raw broccoli and then I've put on the chimichurri dressing and then some vegan aioli on top there lots of greens lots of plants yummy 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 right my live stream is in 40 minutes and I probably should go and sort my life out I really shouldn't say yes to anything past 7 p.m. because I have no personality I don't know where it's gone and I'm gonna have to try and talk myself up and try and act like a fun, happy person on a live stream when all I wanna be doing is watching Gossip Girl in my pajamas. I'll be honest. Anyway, one thing I do that I'm starting to do the night before is write out my to-do list for the next day so I can go to bed dreaming about what needs to be done as soon as I wake up. Um, no, it's also because I just would dawdle in the morning and I would just take forever to write a to-do list and just, I'd rather get up, know exactly what needs to be done and start actioning it all. So that is what I'm doing now, splitting it into projects tasks and ticks um, and at the top of my page every day I write today will be great and I underline the word will because it will. I actually read somewhere that if you read as soon as you wake up in the morning it can help you focus throughout the day because when you're reading you're focusing on one thing without any distractions so tomorrow if I get up early enough I might take off my Apple watch so I don't get any like buzzes and then read maybe like a chapter or half a chapter before I start work and do a little bit of an experiment and see if I'm a more focused girly because right now I'm a scatty mess. So yeah, I'll let, know, I'll let you know how that goes. Good morning, how are we all doing? It is a very gray day and I'm wearing gray. 
the sky is grey but I'm not. It is currently 10.46 and I definitely forgot that I was vlogging. Um, this morning has been very go, go, go. We're putting together our Sober October social strategy. I mentioned the mailers yesterday which are being signed off this morning. I don't know if anyone cares about this but when building a social strategy we've got different content pillars that we want to focus on to make sure that it's kind of a holistic approach to sobriety with education, recipe tips, product placement, feedback from customers all of that kind of stuff so that every single post has a purpose and it's not just a pretty picture with shop now like we want to actually give value to our followers so we're putting together that social strategy so can't speak social strategy today and we spoke with our social media team this morning had a call with them and then that can be signed off for October we are a little bit behind schedule I'll be honest I kind of want to be working kind of four to six weeks in advance we have some certain like evergreen content which can be posted whenever and then we have stuff that's kind of specific to the month or the topic that we're talking about I've also been interviewed for um a so small to medium enterprise magazine which I have been sent over all of the questions for that which I need to answer this morning what else is on my little to-do list I do have a run to do today I'm supposed to do my um shorter runs ping I'm supposed to do my shorter runs for my half marathon training on a Wednesday but tomorrow I'm filming with Meta in the morning and then I have a training day at Apple HQ in Batty power station so I'm not going to get a chance to do that tomorrow so I'm going to try and get it done today because we then have an event in London this evening with Itsu and and a girl on Instagram called M the Nutritionist. I'm speaking a bit fast. I'm going to slow it down. I've just had my coffee. <laughs> um, so we've got an event with M the Nutritionist. So I might run, get my hair all greasy, wash and blow dry it, ready for the event and ready for filming in the morning tomorrow. Um, what else do I have to do? I do have some stories to shoot for a campaign and I also have a video to edit for a campaign as well so I will try and do that today. I tried to do that thing this morning where I read a section of my book and I read, um, it's in the kitchen and I sat down for 20 minutes. I definitely feel like it woke me up more, like this morning I woke up I did feel quite tired even though I had a relatively early night. I'm gonna go make myself a big old bowl of porridge and crack on with the social media planning. Hello and welcome to my dressing room, aka the car. We are in the car on the way to an event this evening. Um, I'm having a little snack attack and I've had these deliciously Ella salted almond caramel cups and I can confirm they were a 10 out of 10. Do I... you know why I know they're a 10 out of 10? Because you've had them? No. Why? You did not offer me one bit. I, I was literally just about to say that I did not share a single bite with Lewis and I feel really, really bad about it. But they were everything I needed and more. Like everything. It was so tasty. They smell great. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay, let's move on. Um, excuse the roller in my hair. I feel like everywhere I go, if I'm going somewhere, I will have a roller in my hair, even on the train these days. I think the people that work at my local train station think this is my hairstyle of choice because every time I go anywhere, I have it, just to get volume upon arrival. Anyway, I need to do my makeup because I'm a hot mess, but where has today gone? So I'm gonna have to do my makeup in the car. I've also got my makeup remover for the way back because I have such an early start tomorrow that I'm going to have to start getting unready in the car on the way home. We are going to a very exciting evening this evening. So I think it's National Gyoza Day today. Cool. Happy National Gyoza Day. And we, am I saying that right? Gyoza, guys? Um, I'd say gyoza. Gyoza. And this evening we're going to a, an Itsu store in Putney and there's going to be a gyoza workshop where we're building like our own glow bowls. There's a talk with M the Nutritionist and, and I think there's other goodies and dinner going on throughout the evening. Lewis is yawning so he's tired before we even get there. Need some Stevie. You need some Stevie Wonder. Sorry it's bad. So we're going to blare some Stevie Wonder now and make our way to the event and hopefully by the time I get there I'll have makeup on my face and feel a little bit more put together. after the event so it was amazing it was the itsu on putney high street and obviously itsu is usually not a fast food restaurant but it's like a grab and go quick food restaurant isn't it as far as i was aware i didn't realize it was open late it isn't so i think they've kept it open late just for this event 
and when I say I'm a little bit obsessed with Emily Nutritionist, she is honestly, it was called Get Your Glow Bowl. And as she was talking, I was like, I will literally do everything you tell me if it means I'm gonna look like you. Because she knew her shit too, didn't she? Yeah, it was awesome. She gave us, so upon arrival, like everyone was having drinks and it was such a nice group of people. And there were people that I have followed their recipe videos for Lord knows how long. Can we turn right here? Mm -hmm. We're gonna. Um, followed their recipe videos for God knows how long and then I met them in person and I went over to them like hey babe how are you thinking oh god no we've not actually met how embarrassing anyway so there was like mingling and then she gave this talk about the gut microbiome gut health how to feed your gut microbiome and not only was it really insightful she obviously is extremely well educated and well versed in everything to do with nutrition but the way she explained it She's passionate about it. It was so, it was amazing, wasn't it? Like, I was just mesmerised and I felt a bit embarrassed because we were sat like front row and both Lou and I were just really nodding and like absorbing everything. And afterwards she was like, no, it's good when people nod because I know you're engaged. And we were literally there the whole time, weren't we? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I just thought she was amazing. And what was incredible was we then got to build our own gyoza bowl but she told us the ingredients why they're good for us what we should pair them with to really reap the benefits of all of the nutrition within them mm. and yeah it was just great and the last two hours have literally flown by haven't they yeah so it was a really lovely group the food was amazing the vibes were amazing and afterwards we got to fill these massive itsu boxes with all of the products that are kind of they get sold in sainsbury's waitrose that kind of stuff Sorry. um that's okay and we got to fill our boxes with us to take it home with us to now enjoy all of the delicious foods at home. No, can I just say it was so funny. We were walking back to the car and all I could hear was like clonk, clonk, clonk. And Lou looked over his shoulder and was like, I took a lot of kombucha. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Where good times. It? <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but I'm actually gonna take my makeup off now. So I've, when I say I have bought my entire bathroom, you know in the bedroom, all of your race nutrition was in this tote bag. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I tipped out. I panicked. Well, I was spreading so late. I literally have everything. That's like, all, I was all prepped for next week. Yeah, I'll just put it back in the bag. I'll do it. It'll be like nothing ever happened. Okay. Um, but literally, look, we've got the hairband to scrape my hair off my face. I've got cleanser. I've got toner. I've got moisturizer. By the time we are home in 45 minutes, my skin is going to be like a baby dolphin. Did you, uh, did you hear the reference to cruciferous veg? And then, do you know, I get into or stuck into about sulfurophane. Every time she was saying something, I'm like, I'm pretty sure Lewis has told me this before and I've just zoned out, but I actually listened to her. I was mesmerised by her. I asked for a photo at the end, like a fangirl. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to take off my makeup and I will probably check in with you guys in the morning. Hello, so I am in a taxi and I thought I would update you on the day so far. So I woke up at literally the crack of dawn this morning to get ready and I had to travel in rush hour to central London and I headed to Facebook HQ which was insane. It was my first time going to their Facebook building um, and it was such a cool experience. It's this huge building. I literally filmed nothing in there but it's this huge building um, and I met some of the Wellness Collective. So I've been part of the Wellness Collective now for about six months. We were all invited to film some content for World Mental Health Day using the Facebook facilities which is just incredible they had this gorgeous setup that was a stage there was a full-on camera crew lighting crew the lot they had wellness treatments going on in the green room and it was just an incredible experience and then I literally we were filming from 9 until about 10 30 and I'm in a taxi now on the way to Shoreditch um, and I'm going to meet the Rocket Pod and I'm going to be on a podcast. I didn't actually know about this podcast until yesterday. I had a message from one of my mentors like, what are you doing tomorrow? And my goal in life is just to say yes. Like if someone asks me what I'm doing, I'm like, I'm going to make it happen. So he was like, what are you doing tomorrow? So I'm heading there now to record from 11 until 12. And then I have to head straight to Battersea because I'm going to Apple HQ to have some training with their new iPhone 15. So it's a very jam-packed day full of incredible opportunities and I'm sweating. So I'm gonna go pad out my face with so much powder ready for this podcast um, and I will check in with you after it is done. Post some pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. No guys, I don't even know where to start. Like what the hell, is, what the hell? I can't believe what has happened today. I think sometimes when you think about influencers or content creators, you think that they go to these exciting events and they, they're constantly moving, but that is so not my life. Like 
I genuinely spend so much of my time in my pajamas at home in front of a laptop on zoom or just filming myself on my iPhone like it is so low-key and a lot of the time lonely and the fact that there's been such an exciting day with two massive brands that I use every single freaking day of my life I honestly can't believe it and I was just in the car with Lewis then he picked me up from the station and I just it's a very surreal feeling because I've been doing this for such a long time like I've been posting on social media for coming up to I want to say eight or nine years it has been a long 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 time and to be recognized by both Instagram and Apple two things like I said that I use every single day and have done for the last decade it's just incredible and I just I never want to take this feeling for granted and like I couldn't film much in the Apple HQ because it's all quite private and confidential but the building is overwhelming like I even said to one of the girls that was leading me through I was like how how do you come to work here every day and she's like I'm really trying not to get used to it because it was mind-blowing and you open every door with an apple watch and all of these people are so knowledgeable and it was just I felt like I was stepping into the future in the best way possible I've been to one wellness day with apple before and there was a meditation and there was a group of us that went together and we had training on how to use the devices in a mindful way because obviously we're all addicted to tech right and it was how to learn how to use them in a mindful way and then share that with my audience in terms of like different focuses and stuff like that so today I was expecting the same thing I thought there was going to be a group of us and we'll be talking through the new iPhone guys it was just me like it was a one-to-one -one with these tech experts speaking about the new iPhone 15 speaking about the features and the camera and obviously I use the camera every day to film content right so I was learning all about these different functionalities loads of different things in terms of software and hardware and all of these incredible features that have been implemented for safety or for creativity and one my mind is blown and two They've given me a freaking phone to use. It's the most insane camera on a smartphone. I think it is the best camera on a smartphone in the world. And I get to use it and play around with it. And I just can't believe it. I think I just need to sit for like 10 minutes and just process what has happened today. Like this morning, we're filming for World Mental Health Day. And I came up with this concept that encourages a lot of the other wellness collective to collaborate with me. And I asked them to be involved and they all said yes. And I came up with this concept that I'm hoping is going to be really impactful to share on World Mental Health Day. And there was a full on camera crew and it was just incredible. And then to go straight from there to recording a podcast with two businessmen that really wanted to hear about my story and what I had to say and like valued my thoughts and opinions to then going to Apple HQ. I just have goosebumps and I just want you to know that I never am going to take any of this for granted and I feel like I'm going to cry, which is so embarrassing. I literally started my Instagram page recovering from an eating disorder, posting my recipes, never thinking anyone would see it, thinking I just want to be healthy and now eight years on these incredible opportunities are happening and I just have to pinch myself and remember on those weeks and months when I literally don't leave the house and I'm just working away by myself like this is all worth it. So yeah, I just feel very proud I guess if that doesn't sound super big headed so I think I need to take myself away from a camera and just sit and process and one thing I do when a day like today has happened I sit and I open my notes app and I write myself a letter and I say dear Steph I just brain dump all of these amazing cool experiences and then if ever I'm having a bad day I go onto my notes app just type in the words dear Steph scroll and swipe one at random and I'll read from a past version of myself that had a good day. So I remember that not everything is constant. Bad days arise, but good days are always coming. So I'm going to sit and do that now and just relive the day before I sit down and crack on with work. I just kind of want to nourish this feeling for a little while longer because it's such a yummy, <laughs> yummy feeling. It's 3.33. That's a lucky number. So I will check with you guys in a bit. Good morning, team. How are we doing? It's Friday. I didn't check in yesterday however we are back to it today and I have a morning of calls so I'm just gonna sit down now and prepare for them so we have our weekly review with Cruise where the whole team get together we review the week um I have literally just woken up by the way I'm so tired <laughs> then after that we have our bi-weekly call with our marketing team to discuss the current schedule the current plan and what we think is working key dates that kind of stuff so I'm gonna just sit type up the agenda for that now get ready for the calls and then later today I actually have a shoot so I've got a campaign for an activewear company and I just I hate having my photo taken I feel comfortable when I'm really 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 dressed up but the more casual stuff the sporty stuff I don't feel comfortable to pose or whatever so Lewis has a friend who's amazing at photography videography that kind of stuff and I'm just gonna ask him to film and shoot this content for me so that I just feel like I need some creative help with his creative eye so that's what we are gonna do today I'm hoping that the sun comes out so I've got calls this morning from 9 until 
till 12 and then he's getting here for about 12 30. then this evening i meet my friend zana for dinner which is very nice lewis is actually going back home to wales this weekend got my frothy coffee I'm ready to start the day. Okay, so yes, I did the calls in my pajamas this morning, but it was really great. Like we have finalized um, lots of things for Carew's for Sober October, which is hopefully gonna be a huge month for us. It's been, it will be our first Sober October month since launch, which is very exciting. And we're hoping to encourage a lot of people to try and participate. We had a great call as a team. And then we had the marketing call, which went really well. And this is the kind of side of business that really lights me up. Yes, supply chain, booking production, getting the product sorted is a huge part of an e-commerce business and a product-based business but I wouldn't say it's like what lights me up it's necessary to make the business work but it's not where I kind of come alive the creative stuff the coming up with concepts the thinking about what we're going to shoot how we're going to present it how we're going to share it with our audience what did they gain from what we're sharing that's the stuff that gets me so freaking excited and that's what the call was just about. So we've come up with some really cool concepts actually for Sober October. I'm not gonna share them all. We also have come up with like different content pillars and called them stuff. So we've got one that's called Savor and Learn and it's all about informing our customers about brand facts, explanations of our ingredients and just really getting people familiar with the concept of a non-alcoholic spirit, why ours differs to others on the market, um, but also in a really fun way. And like we've had loads of ideas for more Christmas based content um, that we're gonna start shooting now. We had really clever ideas and we were just like giggling about it just then. It just lights me up inside. And also we're gonna work on some autumnal content. So our beverages are actually really delicious warm. So there's, uh, especially Uplift, we think there's loads we can do with like a spiced apple cocktail that's like warm and autumnal and seasonal and yada, yada, yada. So we're looking into all of that kind of stuff. And also beyond the bottle, like our bottles are so stunning. I'm literally surrounded by them. Our bottles are so stunning. And that is something that we worked so hard on like every time we finish one I keep it like that's why I'm literally surrounded by bottles it's hilarious but we want to explore the ways that you can use them after it's empty so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments but we're thinking flowers candles incense sticks like different ways like, how beautiful you don't want to throw that away it's too stunning so we're thinking about ways that you can recycle the bottle and use it like even as a tablescape like imagine if you had all blue napkins different shades of blue blue flowers you could use the 500 mil the 200 mil make it like a centerpiece so that's what we're exploring for the month of october it's more sustainable it's a way to reuse your bottle and i just think they're so stunning so we're looking into all of those alternatives at the moment that is today i am now going to go get ready because the photographer is going to be here soon to shoot the weather the sun has come out it is a sunny day it's cold oh my god this is hilarious it's freezing cold but it's sunny so i'm hoping i will be able to survive the uh chill in the air but basically this morning i usually eat my breakfast outside throughout the whole summer i've eaten outside to get that morning sunlight to boost my circadian rhythm to hopefully help me mentally just getting that sunlight early on in the morning it helps with sleep everything it was so cold this morning, I couldn't. Even though I'm wearing like long pajamas, I just couldn't stand being outside. So I put my chair right up to the window and look at this video, look at this photo that Lewis took of me. I literally was just sat there contemplating life like I need the sunlight, but I can't sit outside. So I sat as close as I could. He was like, Steph, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing. Anyway, I'll check in with these guys later, but I hope you're having a great week. And I need to go and make myself look presentable. Cool story of my life we are running late again we are running late i have to leave in four minutes and i've still got a roller in my hair and i'm in my pajamas the shoot went really well um got some really cool pics for a campaign and also for cruise and some video assets as well um but now i am literally running out the door because i'm meeting my friend zana for dinner and we found a pub that is probably not far between us both and it's got a thai restaurant attached to the pub um so we are meeting there for a nice little dinner and a catch up because I've not seen her in bloody ages. And yeah, can't actually wait. So I am going to get ready and I will see you guys in a little bit. Look who I have found. <laughs> wait a second, what was that? Oh my God, it's a, it's a rock. <laughs> you didn't find that one hiking. <laughs> No, I was giving this one on a hike. <laughs> this is tofu and veggies in a yellow bean sauce with some coconut rice. Delicious. Yum. Hello and happy Saturday. I feel like I have not vlogged any of today. Um, it has been go, go. Oh, let me show you something. Look at my new emotional support water bottle. 
I love it. It's from a brand called Yeti and it's kind of like those Stanley ones, but a little bit smaller, a little bit more, a little bit less antisocial, I'd say. They're quite big, the Stanley ones, um, but it still fits in like a cup holder, but it keeps things cold and hot and it's amazing and water tastes better out of a bottle like this. Delicious. I have not vlogged at all today. <gasps> hello, Louis. Come and say hello. Look at little Louis. He's 15. He's an old boy. Do you want to come and say hello? Should I say hello to everyone? Yes. You're so cute. That was nice, thank you. And he's left me. Um, so I've not vlogged today because I went to my normal Saturday morning workout class, which I absolutely adore. And then I went straight from the workout class. I came back here, I showered, and then I went to meet my dad, and then I met a friend for brunch, and then I've come back. And then today has just been planning because I am speaking at an event at the Gymshark store in Regent Street tomorrow, which is really exciting. I've never worked with Gymshark before. There is a company called The Young Professionals, which I highly recommend you checking out. And they host events all through the year. And it's like networking, but more fun. So there's always an activity and then there's a chance to mingle and they've always got really cool guest speakers. So it's an honor to be kind of involved with them as well. It's gonna be a workout class taught by a Gymshark trainer and they turn the whole floor of the Gymshark store, all of the clothes like raise up into the ceiling and the whole floor becomes a workout space because it's before the store opens. It's a freaking such a sick setup. They have a Joe and the Juice there. My assistant Chloe is gonna meet me. We're getting kitted out in Gymshark and then I'm basically doing a talk on sobriety and then everyone's gonna have the chance to drink Carews, which is very, very exciting. So I've loaded up the car tonight just so that tomorrow morning, all I have to do is get up, put a face on and get out the door. And that is the plan of action. I am now now gonna have a really chilled Saturday night. Probably watch Strictly Come Dancing because I've newly been introduced to that. Never watched a series before, but now I'm hooked. And make myself an early dinner and get to bed early. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, how are we doing? It should be illegal to be awake at this time on a Sunday. It is so early. I have been up since five to six. I've done my hair and makeup in the dark. I have no idea what it looks like, but I'm about to set off. Thank God it's still semi-summer, like before the clocks have gone back. Would it have been darker if the clocks had gone back or would it have been lighter? Either way, it's a light morning. It's giving autumn and I'm gonna head into London now. The car was packed last night. I've got my Yeti water bottle and I've also made myself a frothy coffee for the journey in. Just so that when I arrive at the event, I actually have some personality because right now I do not. I could end up covered in frothy coffee which is not ideal but we move i am excited to meet everyone i'm excited for them to try carews i'm excited to talk about carews so i'm gonna head off now and it's actually saying i'm gonna be half an hour earlier than i wanted to be which is stunning let's go team i am here and that driving experience was thoroughly enjoyable so basically i was literally like the only person on the roads which is actually very nice in central london purely because one driving in central london people are aggressive and then i could parallel park without any pressure stunning news so i am now going to just call the, my contact at gymshark make sure that they're there and then start unloading the car and getting everything ready for the event let's bloody go <laughs> That was 100% worth getting up at 6am for. Honestly, that was just incredible. Um, the turnout was amazing. The atmosphere was amazing. And it was just so exciting to see people drinking Carews in a live environment and speaking about it. And Ollie was just such a great host. Like the Young Professionals as a concept is brilliant. And if you don't know what it is, like I'm gonna link everything below because I think everything they're doing to build community and confidence between all of us in London, it's just great. The store is just incredible anyway, as a concept. And like, I've always seen Gymshark online and I've always seen influencers posting about it. And I've never really been involved in anything to do with Gymshark. So it was just really exciting to kind of even dip my toe in and see the world they're creating as well. So it was just very, very exciting 
exciting. It's the 1st of October, it's Sober October and I'm so, so passionate about speaking about sober curiosity and to have an active audience that were willing to listen and learn and had so many questions was just brilliant. I'm bloody starving so I'm gonna make myself a big old sandwich and then I spoke about this in my last vlog but on a Sunday evening I always use my Sunday to like prep and plan for the week ahead so I'm gonna do that now whilst I still have energy and I'm running on adrenaline <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys after that. Right team your girl is tired. I went on a run it was 12k and it killed me off I'll be honest. Had a really nice evening just slothing and watching Gossip Girl and it was just everything I needed and more. So I'm gonna just do my evening skincare routine and then head to bed and finish the book that I'm reading which is by Tia Williams called The Perfect Find. And oh, if you love Taylor Jenkins read or you love like soppy rom-com novels that are just easy read but you get lost in the characters and the story then you would 100% love this book. I was gonna show you my entire skincare routine but it's so late, I'm actually obsessed with this at the moment. This is like a skin treatment. Basically, they originally reached out to do an Instagram campaign. I feel like I need to say that. I didn't just discover it. Anyway, I tried it and oh my God, it has changed my life. I mean, my skin is a little bit shit at the moment. But other than those spots, I feel like it has changed my life. So if you do want to know more about skincare, I'm too tired to do it now. I'm so sorry. But I would be more than happy to include it in a video very, very soon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how you are in the comments. I'd love to hear from you try and reply to every single comment and so yeah sending you so much love thank you for watching and i hope to see you again very very soon don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next week